Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you are having a wonderful day. And it is a wonderful day. In fact, my friends, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Aren't you glad that you know that uh, God doesn't only make sunshiny days? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful that God doesn't only make blue skies and white clouds, but when it's overcast and when uh, the storms are threatening and uh, uh, all of those things, these things are the work of the God of the Bible. We're in his hands and he knows exactly what he's doing. Now, I want to tell you right now, I know you're wondering about our service tonight. Well, I want you to know everything is on. I intend to be here if it's the Lord's will and if God allows, uh, if the weather is uh, too adverse and uh, if it's inclement and we can't get to church, I thank God that I pastor a whole bunch of common sense people and uh, you will have enough sense to know whether or not you can come out. And if the you know, if we, if we have power and we're able to get here, we're going to have church because for us. Worship is worth the risk. And uh, but we're not going to put ourselves in harm's way. And if it's a situation where uh, the power is out or you can't get here, then and, and if I can't get here, then uh, we have a backup for that. And uh, and we'll go with that. But uh, uh, we will not at the upper room. We don't join the the course of people who cancel service. Oh, my uh, two some some two and three days in advance, um, twenty four hours in advance. I, I believe that we ought to give God time to work. Hours in advance? No. Let's let's see what God's going to do. Because you know the thing about North Carolina weather. What <laughs> the, the little saying is: if you don't like it, just just wait a minute because it will change. And uh, and 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 God, who's to say? The Lord may just let this thing pass. And by the time you see uh, this uh, advertisement, uh, you'll have an idea. We'll all have an idea where we are. But just so you know, we we uh, I, I'm armed. I'm telling you, I've been reading the Bible, been studying the word of God. And I tell you, it is the most fascinating uh, thing in existence. I want to encourage you, my friends, to pray and seek the Lord and spend more time in your Bibles because God is speaking and he's speaking loud and clear. And I'm thankful to the God of the Bible for his for his speaking to me and speaking to my mind and speaking to my heart. And I appreciate the fact that you appreciate the word of the Lord that God uh, has given to his servant. Now, my friends, uh, I want you to pray and ask God to lead you and to guide you. And I want to just say this to you as I bring this to a, to a close. And this is uh, this is the, the prevention Failing thought, Gary, that the Lord has put on my heart to just say to the people, tell them I'm in charge. Yeah. Remind the people that God is in charge in these times in which we're living in with everything that's going on. It seems like uh, there's that we get divided now over everything, you know, COVID masks, uh, uh, six feet Three feet, you know, uh, in the social distancing now, those guidelines seem to be changing. Uh, take the shot. Don't take the shot. Do I? Don't I? All of these things are going on. And I tell you, uh, uh, it's exciting. And, and, and in all that's happening, you want direction. And you know what? The Bible teaches that we're to lean not on our own understanding, but to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to thine own understanding. God will give you understanding. He'll show you what to do. He'll show you what decisions to make. And you know what? Here's how you know that it's the Lord. When God leads you in, in, into something, there's peace there. When it's God, it's peace. And, uh, and the peace of God, which passeth, passeth all understanding, the Bible says, will keep your hearts 
and your minds. So I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited about the things that God is doing. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm excited about uh, uh, this coming Saturday, uh, our uh, uh, North Carolina third uh, uh, call meeting will take place and we're going to be expeditious with the time because there's a national church of God in Christ election uh, that will be taking place Saturday as well. And so, so many wonderful things are going on. Here we go. God is in charge. He's in charge of my life. He's in charge of your life. And uh, we're going to let the Lord lead us. And so I want to in invite you um, and, and, and listen, in me stressing God is in charge, you know, I'm, I'm hinting a little bit at what, uh, what, I, what I want to preach about, you know. Uh, uh, many world leaders forget that they rise and fall at the whims and the behests of the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible has an overall plan and nothing can thwart his plan. Satan can try to deny it. He can try, he can try to derail it. He can try to uh, throw it off track. But the will of the Lord is going to be done. Even, even those things, you know, when we talk about these things, it's so easy to just go to uh, that promise that God have made you and the Lord says he's going to bless you with this and bless you with that. That is true. God is going to bring those things to pass. But also the eschatological passages of the Bible, the predictions that the God of the Bible have made, those things are going to come to pass as well. So you want to make sure that you're on the God's side of everything that's going on. So meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> yes. Bible study. We, if it's the Lord's will, are going to gather here tonight and study the word of the Lord together. Now you enjoy the remainder of your day. God bless.